Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking. Tonight I'm coming at you uh, with a uh, with a recipe. We're doing some uh, pork uh, picnic shoulder and uh, some pork loin. Plus, I'm trying a new barbecue sauce here. Trigger happy barbecue sauce right there, y'all. Legendary. I've tasted it. It's really, really good. But we're going to try it with this pork in a couple different ways. I'm going to show y'all, though, right now we're going to get down to it. I want to make uh, some injection. I've got a, a melted stick of butter right there. And then I've got this uh, Amazing Cajun marinades, okay, from Amazing Cajun products. I'm going to put some of this. Uh, in this, uh, in the butter right here. Now, I'm say add one stick of butter mixed well to complete the formula. All right. I'm not going to put the whole thing really in here because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want that strong because it could be. You know, that's like for a marinade for injection. You know, we're just going to uh, put some of it here, about half of it maybe, something like that. Okay. Got that there. And I'm also going to add a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. Love that stuff. And a few shots of that. You can't hurt it. And then we're going to come in with some pineapple juice. Okay? Almost a cup of pineapple juice. And with that all to get it right there. And uh, we'll just kind of mix all that together. I'm going to have to warm it back up because that did uh, congeal the butter. Warm that back up for you in just a second. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do one for the pork loin, where I'm gonna put some of this trigger happy in here. Oh, it's good, nice, good, thick barbecue sauce as well. That's really good. All right, you wanna do that? And I'm gonna add a little bit of the Cajun. Okay. Right about like that there. And then we'll go back and we'll add some of the pineapple juice to this as well. Okay, this will be our injection for the pork loin, okay? Mix that all together and get it good. All right, y'all, before we inject, I like to rub the, uh, the pork down. Now, of course, I put a mustard on that's just for a binder. You don't know about that. Well, sorry, like JB says, just stay stupid. We got some of uh, Heavy Made Products, uh, Texas Best Rib Rub. That's what we're gonna put on this stuff. Um, Good little pork rub. Check out Hip Made Pots. Everything they make is really, really good. The rib rubs, the brisket rub. I just had this little container here. And uh, let's get the heck out. I got a big in here. So when that runs out, here yeah, we switch to this. All right, so we put on the ends, get everything nice and rubbed down, all right? Because uh, you want flavor all over these pork loins. And pat that in. Put that on the end there. Oh yeah, good color to it. All right, let's get the side there. Oh yeah, okay. Look maybe like that. All right. And you can see, I mean, this is easy stuff here. We just gonna go ahead and get this all rubbed down, all right? All right, y'all, now that I got it rubbed down, I put them on this, this tray here, my hotel pan. You know, I use these all the time. Get them from my local restaurant, restaurant supply store. And I'm going to inject them with this. Remember, this trigger happy barbecue sauce mixture I made with the pineapple juice. Okay, so I've got that right here. We're going to get some of that in the injector. Okay, you got to have to use a big injector to get clogged up if you're doing this. Then we're just gonna come on over in here. Adjust my injector. I don't want it's about three. All right, so you'll know, start over here at this end. And just boom, boom, three. So take one, two, three. And done. And yeah, something will run out. Don't worry about that. Just wanna inject plenty in here though. Cause that's it's gonna make some wonderful looking marbling inside the meat too. And you'll notice it's like a stained glass look if you get if you do it right and if you get enough in there. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't. But 
this is really, really good. I'm going to start going from the other direction. I'm going to watch my cup of stuff over here make sure I don't use it all on one piece of the loin. I don't know if y'all can even see it. See my needle here? You get the idea. Anyway, we're going to pump them up with this marinade and we'll be done with it. All right, y'all, now we're going to start on the pork shoulder, or <clears throat> the picnic shoulder, which I oiled the skin side and sliced it, you know, scored the skin, and then we just rub down this other side. So we're going to go in this thing We start injecting them up just like we did everything else. I like to give it three good pumps, move to the next spot. All right, got to make sure you're not on some bone. That was bone right there. Not too big of a fat pocket. Oh. So we'll just do that. Keep on going around the pork butt. All right, y'all, I got my other smoker, YS640, set on 250 out here. And I'll show y'all how I got them going. Right there, just uh, sitting, let the, uh, the butts closer to the stack. You know, we get a little bit more heat, but that's what they're rolling on right there. We'll let them go and cook up. Y'all, we are, uh, I'm gonna have to take the pork horns out. Cause I've got to take them over to the engagement. And they're about 112 degrees. I've been cooking on here for a couple of hours. Um, but we'll leave the butt on. These, remember the pork horns have been injected with a trigger happy barbecue sauce. So I mean, they're, they're gonna be really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and just put them right here in this dish and we'll cover them with full and let them finish in the hot oven. Oh yeah, y'all, that's, that's gonna be so good. But uh, anyway, we'll finish that off over there. Now let's show them how they are. All right, y'all, so gotta kinda be quiet here in the middle of the night, but the pork loin turned out really good. Got a nice smoke ring to it. The, uh, the barbecue sauce is really, really nice. I'll get back to you in the morning some more about how the um, little shoulder did, but the pork loin is absolutely delicious. Morning, y'all. We're not quite done here with the pork sh uh, picnic shoulder. What I want to do, I want to put a little bit of uh, this trigger happy on here just as a glaze. Let me pull it over here so y'all can see. All right. Now watch this. Let me glaze this thing up for you. Make it look really, really nice. I think that'll That'll do something for us for sure. Okay, so y'all bear with me here just for a second. Let's uh, hit that up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Just a little bit there. And uh, we don't have much longer on the pork butt or the pork shoulder, or you want to call it. But uh, I want this to kind of caramelize in there with that bark. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Let that go just like that, okay? And then we'll shut it down. We'll come back just a little bit. All right, y'all, we're reading about 140 internal. Hopefully, y'all can see here. And it's got a really, really nice color on it. So, what I'm going to do now is, uh, if y'all over here, maybe we can see a little bit better. I'm going to cover it in full we're gonna wrap this first i'm gonna put a, a little bit of juice in here I'll show you Done already yeah uh, a little bit of apple juice in the bottom of this pan all right i'm gonna crank my heat up to around 300 we're gonna wrap this in full y'all then we're gonna close it down so it's wrapped in full there that'll help it uh, finish cooking because i like the color and uh Crank the heat up a little bit, pull it on through. Charles, so I've uncovered the pork butt now. Put a little more sauce on it and just got it finishing in here uh, just till it comes up to temp. It's gonna be really good. But right, y'all, I just took it out here. This thing took forever to cook. We kind of wrapped the foil here. Semi, not too, too tight. Just, just enough there to uh, let it rest somewhat and uh, then we'll pull it. All right, y'all, the pulled pork is finally done. Uh, took forever to cook for some reason, but.
But uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of the sauce on there. We'll give it a try. Some of this, oh yeah. Get a little bit of that good sauce. All right. And uh, we'll give it a taste, y'all. Things gonna be really, really good. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. That's good stuff, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, this trigger happy is good. It's sweet, really sweet sauce. It's got a little hint of cinnamon in it. Really gives a unique taste, but I like it, y'all. Definitely try it on this pork. I think that injection works well. See some of these pieces with a little bit more injection. But, mmm, mmm, mmm. That's really good. Y'all, please uh, like my video, sub my channel. Thank y'all, and God bless y'all. Take it easy.